Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about your incarnate powers. You've hit level 50 and you're ready to play with incarnate powers. What do you do now? Uh, this is a very exciting time for a level 50 character. Incarnate powers are very, very useful, extremely useful, and can make a big difference in your character. And there is a lot to cover here. I'm warning you in advance, this is going to quite possibly be my longest video. Uh, I know people don't like long YouTube videos. I don't like long YouTube videos, but there is just a lot to cover here, and I'm going to try to cover as much as I can. I'm probably going to forget a thing or two, so feel free to use the comments section. Come visit us on Discord. We have a server. You're welcome to join us. We'd love to have you there. But in the meantime, let's kind of talk about incarnates now. Your, your, the first thing you need to be aware of is that once you hit level 50, you still keep gaining what we call veteran. You start getting veteran levels. Every so many veteran, every veteran level, you tend to get what we call a subcurrency for, uh, for your incarnates, what we call incarnate shards and uh, Imperium merits. And these are the two different currencies with, with merits being the higher currency. Uh, you can find out your veteran level by going to menu and going to personal info, and you'll see veteran level here. Uh, now, this character is a farmer helper. The character sits in a lot of farms and has gotten level 20 just by sitting in on some farms. If you need some farms to sit in on, by the way, come feel free to join us over at Good and Too Good over on Reunion. We have daily farms. We're happy to have you sit in and gain some veteran levels if you need them. Of course, you could also get these just by going out, adventuring, playing with your friends, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You want to be for a lot of what I'm about to show you to work with what we call alpha. You want to be, I believe, veteran level six or maybe nine, because at six and at three, six, and nine, you get in, you get some Imperium merits. You can also get Imperium merits by running da most of the darkest story, a story quest from Ouroboros. You get two per run. And I can do those relatively quickly in 20 minutes. If you need me to show you how, let me know. I'll help. I'll help bring you through. But by level 10 or 20, uh, as you can see here, I'm 20. You definitely have more than enough to at least get started. And you want to get started as quickly as possible because, again, these things make such a huge, huge difference, especially if you're a farmer. These things are going to help you farm a lot faster. So the sooner you get these going, the better. And they don't cost you anything. You probably got the materials for free while you're leveling up, so you might as well use them and put them to work. So you access your incarnate stuff by hitting powers. And then right here above your powers is a thing that's called incarnate abilities. Now, again, there's a lot to go over here. The system's a little clunky, but bear with me here. We're going to blow this up. When you first start off, you're going to see there's these, uh, there's these six different powers, Alpha, Interface, Judgment, Lower Destiny, Hybrid, and... Uh, and usually they're they're not unlocked at the very very beginning, but as you level up, they will slowly fill up with XP and unlock. And uh, as you can see by level 20, which didn't take me too long, uh, veteran level 20, they're all they're all taken care of. But these are not slotted. These are like enhancements. I think of these as enhancement slots. And a lot of these affect all of your enhancements, particularly alpha. So we're going to start with alpha, and we're going to create this in real time today and show you how this works. So you create them by coming over here. I know this text is going to be hard to see on a YouTube video. I'm going to do my best just to read everything out loud because I, they, they make this text really, really small. Uh, I can't remember if there's a way in the menu options uh, to change that to larger text. And I think about it. And they have a lot of things in here. So there might be uh, under graphics and audio might be like a screen resolution. Screen UI resolution. That's my resolution for the for the screen. I've got all kinds of modes I've got set up on here, but I'm not quickly seeing a text one. There probably is. Somebody can put that in the comments below, but I'm just going to read this out loud. So there's different kind of alphas, and you can kind of mouse over these. You build these. This is like a building menu right here. You're going to be able to build these. Uh, where this is a this is a, a fire brutish type of character. So uh, I'm going to go for musculature. You can, like I said, you can read over these. If I'm playing a healer, I might go for spiritual or one of the other ones, but this is what we're doing here. And if you mouse over here, it'll say, for all incarnate powers, increases damage by 33%. One sixth of these bonuses ignore the effects of enhancements, diminishing returns. As, as you might recall from previous videos, once you get to a certain percentage of enhancements, uh, it, you start getting diminishing returns. 
What's interesting here is if you go straight to the top of this, you're going to see for all empowers increase the damage by 45%, two thirds of these bonuses ignore the effects of enhancement diminishing returns. So two thirds of 45% is like 27, 20, 20, 30 percent. And that means that you're getting a 30% enhancement put on every single one of your attack powers. And it's ignoring diminishing returns, which is really, really good. Now, we're going to start off by building the, you got to build the first step. What you're going to notice about each one of these steps up as you go up, they require as a, as a component, the step below it. So you're going to notice that there's two recipes here. There's this one and this one. You pretty much only see this with ALF, I believe. If you take a look at a lot of these other ones, they only have one recipe. Alpha still has what we call legacy recipes in there. The top one tends to be the older recipes using the old system. The bottom ones are the ones we tend to focus on. If you see a big list in alpha, you always want to focus on the bottom half for the most part. And we see that we need biomethic, meditation techniques, and genomic analysis. And what I like to do is I like to screenshot that section and post it on the side on a, on a Word document or something so that I can kind of keep track of what I need to buy. Because in order to buy these with the components we've got, we're going to go over to convert. And we've got a lot of different menu options here, so bear with me. All right. First off, we have incarnate shards. Now, incarnate shards is the old system, and we generally don't use that too often. You will get some shards here and there. I've got 35 of them. And what most people do with these shards is they'll convert them into incarnate threads and imperium merits, which are the new currency. Incarnate threads and pyramids are going to be your friend, okay? But it, just keep in fact, keep in mind this old system is here. Should should you should you need to to use it for whatever reason? Uh, if you do one of the task force and you get book of the or the notice of the well, the old system can be used to make. Uh, you can probably you probably do have enough incarnate shards to use the old system to make your third rank alpha without using. A lot of Imperium merits uh, incarnate threads. That is an option. I'm not going to go into it in this video because most of us, especially if you've been playing the game for a while, if you have notice of the wells, you convert those guys uh, into uh, into. Uh, uh, let me see here. You can convert notice of the wells into four to six incarnate shards. Um, I think. Let me just double check. And one second, I'm trying to remember how I did this before. It'll come to me. But then you can convert these, I believe, into, into uh, incarnate threads. So you convert the, the shards into incarnate threads. Oh, upgrade, duh. So you can upgrade 10 incarnate shards into 10 incarnate threads. Oh, here we go. You can break down the notice of the well into 40 incarnate threads. That's what a lot of us do. So kind of keep that in mind. That's what a lot of us do. Ignore what I had just said before. But if you have notice of the well from doing the weekly task force, you can convert those directly into 40 incarnate threads. And a lot of us do that. So there you go. That's how you want to do that guy right there. So let's talk about incarnate threads. Let's stay focused on incarnate threads and impairments. That is the new system and how you're going to, you can do, from what I've been told, my research has told me that you can do all of the upgrades you need for incarnates by focusing on incarnate threads and impairments, which makes your life a lot simpler. And that's how I've been leveling up my character so far. So uh, we needed some biomorphic goo. And you're going to find that under incarnate thread and common. Here's biomorphic goo. We need meditation techniques. That's under common as well. We'll hit create. And then we need some genomic analysis right there. Now we come over here to create. We come down here and we create one of those. And now we have our very first incarnate. That only took us 60 threads. You have that by the time you hit veteran level two. And we can go ahead and equip that. Uh, and we're already better. But we're going we're gonna to keep moving up on the line. Now, again, we have two recipes here. I'm going to go. Now, they're slightly different things on the left side and right side. You're going to have to read over and see what's best for your character. I'm going to go right side here. And there's a formula at the top and a formula at the bottom. We're going to always go with the bottom one here. And you're going to notice that it says that we need a muscular boost, which is what we just made before. So again, this uh, requires what's below it as one of the reagents. We'll go ahead and copy that to my clipboard. 
and we're going to go back over here and make some some of this it requires a biomorphic goo so we make one of those i think i hit the make button yep we need enchanted sand now we need glucan compound which is actually in the uncommon if i'm not mistaken there's glucan compound that costs 60. so that price is starting to go up of course i can come back over here and now i can create that guy now uh i need let me just write a little out here whoops uh let me grab this guy real quick bear with me for just a second here okay so now for the third one for the third one uh i am going to uh, i'm going to just take the one on the very far right and you'll notice that there's two recipes and again we're going to go for the bottom one now things get a little bit more interesting with this because we're going to need a super conductive membrane so let me let me write that down real quick so I don't forget. And we'll come over here to convert. So the first thing on that was an arcane cantrip. Remember that's in common, that's easy. Meditation technique, also in common, very easy. But now we need a superconductive membrane. That's gonna be under Imperium Merits. And semi sim, superconductive membrane conversion cost eight. So go ahead and create that guy right there. And now we can create our third rank. And that costs us maybe 300 threads altogether. And we've got our third rank. Now, when you equip your third rank, something important happens. If you notice up here in the upper right hand corner, I have my influence, but I also have a number that says level shift. When you equip your third rank, so if we go to equip, uh, we've created this guy here. We can go to alpha and you can see this musculature total revamp here. I can go to right click and I can hit slot power. It's going to say level shift one. That means in most areas now, my level is really 50 plus one or 51. So level 51 enemies will no longer, uh, minions will no longer be yellow to me. They'll be white. So I've been shifted up a level. That makes farming more lucrative as I'm able to take higher level enemies. Now you can unlock other level shifts by leveling up some of these other guys here. The details are on the internet. I won't go into them. The further level shifts only affect your effective level in certain areas of the game. They don't affect you in most areas of the game, but that first level shift does. So getting alpha and getting that third level in there is very, very important. And you can do that really at veteran level two or three. It's very, very easy. Do it as quickly as possible. And that's going to give you a significant uh, increase in your power and your attack powers, at least for us damaging characters. And there's other options for other characters that do other roles. And each one of those are just as impactful. Now, if I want to create the rank four, things get a bit more complicated because uh, in order to create the level four, you need not one, but two of these different options that are below it, okay? You need two of these as components. Uh, you're gonna see here, this requires both muscular partial core revamp and partial uh, radial revamp. And there is a ton of recipes here because they've got one for every possible permutation combination of two of these guys down here plus you have the old method and the new method all right so i need a second one here to 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 do uh to do this guy up here this is uh then on top of that i'm going to need a high-end reagent which cost a, quite a few imperium merits so before you can go up to rank four it is worth doing but you're going to need some good imperium merits which i have on this character so we're going to go through this process again we're going to make this guy here the, the the next the next level three which shouldn't shouldn't be too much of a task because we've already done it once and we got plenty plenty of money uh or crafting reagents right so i'm going to go through and create those first two again and the first one requires uh biomorphic goo and that's under incarnate threads common we need biomorphic we need two biomorphic goos, one for each step. One and two. I need meditation techniques. I need a genomic analysis. I need an enchanted sand. I need a glucan compound under uncommon. Okay, and that's going to get me the, those first two again. Because in order to create that third one, I'm going to have to create these two again. They got consumed when I made that first one. 
So I've created those two. You can see this is lit up. Now I'm ready to create this one over here. Again, I'm going to use the bottom recipe. So I'm going to grab this guy right here to get this bottom recipe. Okay, it needs a supercharged capacitor. So we'll go back to convert. Supercharged capacitor is right here. We need meditation technique right here. And now the exotic isotope, remember, though that guy's going to be under Imperium Merits. If you can't find something in Threads, make sure you look under Imperium Merits. There's exotic isotope. Okay, now we can come over here and create this guy here. And now we have them both. Now I'm ready to create the big alpha. Now you want to make sure you grab whichever one of these you want the most. This one increases damage by 45% and mobilization defense debuffs by 33%. This one increases damage and mobilization duration, defense debuffs, endurance modification, and run speed by 33%, and to hit debuffs by 20%. So you got to pick what's what's good for you. I'm going to go for muscular core because that's best for my fire brood, I think. Now, there's a whole bunch of recipes here. You're going to notice that a lot of these have this, this first section in red because I don't have all those pieces. But if you go to this one right here, I have these two reds. But this is on the upper half. This is the old way of doing it. So we're not going to use that. That's a very expensive waste of money and time. We're going to go down to the second half. And I usually just start from the bottom and I work up until I see the one with the two blue entries. There's my two pieces right there. OK, and these are the items that I need. And again, I'm going to be able to find all of these in in uh, in the incarnate threads and Imperium merit section. All you need to do this is, is those two guys. So I'm going to start with the bottom. I'm going to look for that forbidden technique first. The most expensive stuff is usually at the bottom. So the forbidden technique, we're going to go to Imperium merits and you're going to see it's not here under rare. We got to go to very rare. Very rare. You're going to see Forbidden Technique is right here for 30. We're going to grab that guy. That's a very expensive buy there. It's hard to get 30 Imperium Merits. It takes me four hours to grind up that much if I'm just grinding. Thankfully, you get a bunch for leveling up. Uh, and then for the next one, I need Nanotech Growth Medium. And that's probably going to be under Incarnate Threads. Nanotech. Uh, is that a normal one? It is nanotech growth, and then one arcane can trip. Boo. And now if I come over here, I should now be able to create. You can see it's all white. I can now create my level four. Now my characters, boy, I'm just going to really, really be basking in the power now. You notice my level shifted back to zero because I consumed my level three one. When I made that level four one, I need to re-equip that one, and my level shift will come back. And, and if I go into my powers and I was paying attention to my powers, they're going to be worth quite a bit now. So that's all really, really good. And I just realized I did that. This wasn't a fire brute. This is my support person. So I think I just wasted all those materials. Sad face. Um, all right. So you can uh, start also working on some of these other uh, these other slots. And these all do different things. I'm not going to go through every single one, but like Lore will get you a pet, for example. You can go to like, you know, some of these will give you an extra power to use. If we go to interface, uh, there's some different things here. Actually, what I'm looking for, I think, is Destiny. If you look at Rebirth, this provides a very, uh, this provides an extra heal. If you're a healer, this can give you a nice extra heal, especially if you're playing Kinetics. Uh, this, this might be something you want to get. And you're going to see it, it all takes pretty much the same materials we've been talking about before uh, and whatnot. Now, with these other powers, what I have noticed is that they only have the new method. They don't have the old method, so they're a little bit less com confusing. Just like before, the top tier power requires, you know, it's like on these lower levels, they only have one recipe instead of two. So they're just, they're just less confusing overall. And everything you can get there, like this living relic would be probably the most expensive thing on here. You should be able to get by going to Imperium Merits. Very rare, and there's living relic right there for 30 Imperium Merits. So you're going to need quite a few Imperium Merits to get the top tier. You need, I uh, believe it's 46 Imperium Merits to max out any one of these guys on the average. So you need a lot of Imperium Merits to, to kind of work all of these guys up. But this is how the system works. And, and this is just kind of a good a quick overview to help kind of get you started. Um, there's a lot of questions, but well, should I pick this or pick this? Because 
you know, these materials are a little bit hard to collect and you don't want to waste them by making poor decisions. And I get that. So feel free to come over to our Discord server on Reunion. We have we have people who play the game a lot more than, than I have who can help advise you uh, if you're really stuck on something. Come over and join us and we'll help you out with that. And if you're looking to grind more Imperium Merits uh, and we do the, the weekly task force, which give you the notice of the well, which can, can be converted into those uh, those incarnate uh, threads feel free to join us over on good and too good over on reunion we would love to have you into our weekly we do multiple weekly task runs to get those things to help you level up your character and help them become better uh, we'd love to have you but until next time again my name is phil uh, you can find me on discord at jc servant find me on reunion i'm at wild light that's all one word wild light and i'd be happy to chit chat with you uh, until next time, I'm just about out of t quick topics off the top of my head I've wanted to do videos on, but if there's any other topics you guys can think of, feel free to mention them in the comments below. Until next time, have a great day.